Now, let's talk about something ironic, and this is something we're going to be touching on throughout the course, but... This video is brought to you by EpiPies Academy. So as we're moving on and as we're tackling the issues that are plaguing our load speed, you see we are able to reduce things quite a bit. And then there's this pesky thing, preload key requests, and it complains about this show ads implementation by Google, which is their AdSense um, product. So it's a Google product that's really causing the problem here, right? And at the moment, it's the biggest problem in our load speed is the, is the Google problem for the Google product with the ads. Now, I have a couple of... For this particular page, I have a couple of Google products. I'm running Google Analytics, which we we used async, so that should be no problem. We're using I'm I'm serving two or three ad, Google AdSense ads, which this is referring to possibly, and I'm also running uh, the Google Pixel for retargeting for, for me serving retargeting ads to my website visitors. And it's not clear from this complaint, at least it's not clear to me if, if Google is complaining complaining about my AdSense serving, me as an ad publisher, like actually serving up ads on my page, or it's complaining about those calls that are creating the Google Pixel so I can run the retargeting ads to my users elsewhere on the web. If this sounds a little bit too complicated, don't worry about it. It's a slightly outside the scope of this course, but basically it's a Google ad product that's slowing things down for me here. Now, what I've done is I've, taken, I've commented those out and it actually didn't help tremendously. It helped only a little bit. And then I took out, I also have this YouTube video right here. I took out the YouTube video and I'll show you, see this is the page without the YouTube video. I took it out and I ran this page. Now you look at the performance. 76, it's green, it's pretty. Our load time not only increased on the first paint, but look how the entire page loads beautifully and quickly. The whole thing for a 3G connection, which is pretty slow, 5.6 seconds, and it has decreased the load speed for this. Now it's 1.09 you know, one, almost 1.1 millisecond. Before that, it used to be 1.7. So we decreased that as well. And it's beautiful. There's still, like I've taken out all the ads, it's still complaining about this. And I've literally taken it out. So it might be a caching issue. It might be something with the cache. So it might even go down further later. And w the other wins that you can have is, reducing the style sheets. I'm using these style sheets. The solutions for this is either taking out the extra libraries or minifying or in, and doing things like that to the other CSS libraries. And we're gonna cover how to do that later in the course. So we're, we're gonna be able to decrease the, loads, the page load speed even more, but those will be a little bit more involved, a little bit more work. This is, you see how incredibly fast and easy this was with just knowing exactly what the low hanging fruit was and how to fix those and boom, you can implement this in under one hour and have immediate speed boost for your site and immediate, you can start earning more money from your customers being more engage, engaged and you can start boosting your SEO ranking because your site is much faster now and that's a positive Google search ranking. So, so fast.